What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Road to Med video. We know we haven't been posting, but we're back for the 2024-2025 school year. And today we're just gonna be talking about the courses that you're gonna need in first year. This includes the core health side courses and the major elective ones like bio, chem, and physics. Let's get into the video. All right guys, so firstly we're gonna talk about bio 102 and 103. So the lecture quizzes are a very important component of both bio 102 and 103. And it's really important that you get these lecture quizzes right because they make up a big chunk of your mark. So these lecture quizzes have really, really poorly worded questions that are very tricky to understand. They're not straightforward at all. And a lot of them show up on the exam. So make sure to review these lecture, qu uh, these lecture quiz questions and make sure that you're properly reading the questions before actually doing an answer or giving any sort of answer. Now, also the labs are a big part of this course. These are just group assignments. So make sure that you know your group and make sure that you guys do well on your on the teamwork aspect of things. Now, we're going to kind of go into the homework aspect. So there's something called DSMs. Uh, and these are kind of little questions you're supposed to do. They're completion only. Uh, and you get a limited attempts. But the big thing is, right, you want to be able to do them and to do them properly, right? You get a grace period, you get a lot of time to do them, but you have to do them. I know a lot of people that slacked off, including myself sometimes, and these are really important. A lot of these questions show up on the exam and they, they iterate this tons of times in the course and we saw them last year. So if you guys really want to succeed, make sure you are doing those questions because they're really high yield on exams. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, go over the quizzes, go over your DSMs and make sure you capitalize on every little aspect and every little mark because they all add up at the end of the day. And obviously, if you guys do have any further questions about this, just feel free to put it in the comments and we can answer them or just reach out to us via our email. Okay, guys, now we're going to talk about physics. First year physics is always kind of uh, reveres the scariest thing ever. And I took physics 115, which is the requirement for life side. But I'm going to go over the kind of more specifics right now. So everyone does get scared of it. And I will be honest, it is pretty scary at first. You have lab components that make up, I think, 10% or maybe 15% of your mark. So for those, make sure you are, find the right good partners. And the labs are done in class. So make sure that you're doing them on time so you can get out, which is really good, but also it's kind of tough. So you got to make sure you're finding the right people. Number two are the Wiley Plus homework assignments. So you have, I think, three attempts, maybe two at each question, and your mark will drop significantly after each question. So make sure that every single question you're doing, you do properly, you do it correctly, and you actually learn because that makes up kind of still, it's not a lot, but it makes up your mark and you have to do it all, every single week. So make sure you're on top of it. And finally, my biggest thing, this course is completely exam heavy. You have about, I think the midterm is, 25 and if you don't do well the whole weight gets transferred to your final so i know people that had like a eight like a 75 percent final so make sure that you capitalize on every single exam you have a midterm and a final and make sure you study really really hard because it makes up tons of your mark these exams but good luck so now we're going to talk about chem 112 a and b so that's gen chem and it's a full year course and i'm going to start with the lab and tutorial component so what kind of happens is that you get to choose your partner uh, at the start of the year and you stay with that partner for uh, the whole year. So the labs are do not done in class and like physics and bio. They're actually done at home and you submit them by a date. So you work on your uh, with your partner and do that. So I really suggest that you guys do the lab properly. Make sure you have the right results. And if you have any questions, ask your TA. That's super important. And for the tutorials, make sure that you guys are always attending because there are participation marks. And last year there was a kind of a big problem because people weren't showing up. And also, it's really good to kind of learn and to see what happened during that week. So, yeah. Yeah, and another component, I want to say like a really small, like about 5% is Mastering Chem. These are these assignments that you would be doing weekly and you're supposed to do them by yourself. So make sure you're not asking your friends for help or doing it. If you need help, use the hints. There's hints on them. But be careful every single time that you're doing it if you make a mistake you do lose a small percent of that one assignment but the lowest one does get dropped so don't worry about that too much but just yeah emphasis on those make sure you're doing those and make sure they're good practice because they will be on the final exam okay now about the final exam guys the final last year was pretty tough right there were a lot of questions that people necessarily didn't expect because they were pretty small parts of what we talked about in the lectures so I would really recommend for this year's final to really go through all of the slides on each of the decks for each of the weeks and just really focus on everything 
and make sure that you know those slideshows and make sure you know everything in that slideshow just so you can't be surprised by anything on the final and also make sure to do the term quizzes the term quizzes are super important because they give you an exposure to what the final exam questions are actually going to be like so make sure you do those quizzes by yourself or at least be prepared to do them really really well just so that you can see what it's going to be like and see how much you have to study for the final yeah i'm not gonna lie to you guys i fucked up in this course i didn't really attend the lectures i was sleeping through because who really wants to go to 8 30s but you really you really need to go to those you have to make sure you're attending every single one of those lectures doing the mastering chemistry mastering chem doing your term quizzes and don't like prep 101 is good it's really good for its review at the end of the year make sure you guys should take that i would highly recommend it but at the same time don't completely rely on it you guys need to you guys need more than just that all right guys now we're going to move into some of the health side courses so firstly let's talk about far all right far is a really heavy memorization based course there's a lot of content you need to learn and definitely memorization strategies come in really handy adam's going to talk about that in a bit but i would just say um really focus on those course assessments because there's not a lot of them and just doing those to boost your mark would be really helpful at just lowering the weight off your final and just taking some stress off your shoulders make sure to ask the tas about any questions that you have on the assessments and yeah yeah so kind of the more like what worked for me and what worked for uh so i took it online they took it in person but very similar course again the structure is very similar and you know what I found was really nice was using Anki, so using flashcards. A lot of people have decks public, actually, if you just go on Quizlet. Or you can just ask people, people are probably going to make them in Anki. Um, and, you know, just to get those drug names, everything, kind of all those things in your mind for the midterm and final, because I felt a lot of it was quite straightforward, but it still had a lot of memorization involved. So try that, use that technique, and, you know, best of luck in this course. Okay, now guys, we're gonna talk about Anat 100, which is one of the more memorization-based courses in the program, just like FAR. This course is pretty hard, so just make sure you're staying on top of your work. It consists of two main components, which is the block theories and the practical evaluations, which I believe combined makes up about 50% of your grade. For the assignments, guys, just make sure that you're asking your TAs for help whenever you have questions and you're just starting them well ahead of time just so you have time to edit and see what other people are doing, maybe, maybe get a chance to peer at it. Yeah, for sure. So I'm going to start off talking about the block theories, which I believe there are three of them. And you're going to have a total of 12 modules and each block theory has consists of about three to four of those modules. So I believe in the first few weeks, you will have your first block theory and don't stress too much on it. It is like one of those other exams that you're going to have in all the other health side. It's going to be a bunch of multiple choice questions and it's going to have a few short answer questions. And really just make sure you're memorizing enough in the modules and make sure you're understanding it because you can't really answer the short answers because they're more of scenarios rather than just like complete answers or questions that you're going to get where it's like oh like where is this located it's really like more scenario based where it's like oh if he broke his knee then like which part of the bone did he break it's so make sure you're understanding the modules and just really great emphasis on learning the modules i guess and for the practicals guys the biggest tip i can give is just really understanding where everything is and seeing where how all the different things in the body place together because when you're actually looking at the specimens in person it is very confusing and it's different to the modules so just make sure if you're taking the class online to actually go in person and take the time in your labs to just see where everything is just so you'll be more familiar with it on the actual uh practical evaluations all right guys now we're going to talk about fiji so fiji 170 is a really interesting course it's like a lot of the cell bio courses that you guys have taken and it is a continuation of some of the content that you've learned in high school so again very memorization based like other courses there is an aspect of application based on it so first day i'll just talk about the group learning assignments those are kind of just short short questions that you have to answer with your group so just listen to the tas guys they're not trying to trick you just keep your answers brief you know and just work well with your group make sure you actually get to know each other and just focus on that so that you guys can do well and all these little things that add up in the end will you know impact your mark so just make sure you're trying hard on it now make sure that before the group learnings you actually do the modules and keep track of what what's going on in the class just so you can actually contribute actively to your group 
and ask your TAs for help. Make sure to do that, guys. Yeah, the group learnings do take a lot of time and make sure you're really getting good with your group because you are graded by your peers on like how much you're participating or whatnot. So just make sure you guys are like getting getting to know each other and just working well because it's going to take you a long time and you're going to be with, stuck with those guys forever. But another part of the Fiji exam, I mean, Fiji course is the final exam. And that one consists of short answer questions and multiple choice. Once again, like all of your other courses that you're probably going to see in health side. So it is really, really easy to lose marks on those short answer questions. So make sure you guys are like, like it's, I doubt you're going to get every single point to exact detail, but just make sure you're studying it enough. Make sure you're understanding all of the modules and make sure you're participating in the group learning because a lot of the questions that you see in the group learning do come up on your short answer. Because I remember last year, a lot of our group learning questions that we had, I, review, I was reviewing those questions and almost half of them were on the final exam. So just be really prepared and make sure you're actually going through the course and participating a lot. Now we have HSI. HSI is one of the easiest but most important courses that you're going to take throughout health HSI 190 is basically the framework of all of your research. You're going to be needing it for your future. So make sure you really understand what you're doing throughout the statistical softwares that you're learning in SPSS. So to start, you're going to be having homework assignments, which are going to be really easy. They're going to be really short. It's going to take you about an hour max. You're just going to be applying all of the SPSS and statistical softwares that you're learning. It's going to be a new one every week. Then you're going to have assignments. They're going to be longer versions of your homework, but they're also going to be really easy. So don't worry too much about those and there's also quizzes so quizzes are all multiple choice it's going to be how you use the statistical software so make sure you really understand how they work because you're going to be needing to know those for your multiple choice questions and then finally you have the final exam which is basically a mix of your homework and your quizzes so don't worry too much you got that all right now glyph guys it's it's a unique course nothing like you guys have ever done before and it's super important right for glyph i would just emphasize really really participating in those group discussions they often do get interesting and it's just it's cool to widen your perspective and it's really important for the final too because they often like test you on a lot of those kinds of discussion based questions guys also for glyph just make sure to remember some of the big percentages that they say because they often test you on that on the exam and now let's move on to idas so yeah, everyone's kind of favorite course uh, and Bernie's course, IDIS 173. So Dr. Butler is a gem. He's amazing. And the class is really fun. You have a blog post every week. So make sure you're doing that and make sure that you're listening and asking your TA for advice because they will not lie to you. Again, this class is pretty TA dependent. But at the end of the day, if you guys are doing the work and you're submitting your blogs in time, it's going to be pretty good. And then these self-reflections are like, like you need a pulse. Like seriously, just write. Give yourself perfect. I'm telling you, they'll give you the mark and past that you'll be fine so again i we all know first year is scary we just went through it now we're in second year right it's scary but you know you guys got it make sure that you guys are on top of your things you're talking to people you're staying connected and you know we're gonna post a google drive with all of our resources the first year that we have on key flashcards everything that you guys need and you know if you guys have any questions or any concerns or any comments you know just send it to us in the comments below or just email us you know um again it's not easy and you know it's gonna be scary but you guys got it and we made it through somehow and you guys will too so thanks for watching guys